Hi and welcome to Bike Heads. My name's Ed and today I'm going to give you a sneak peek at the Exotec Carbon from Scorpion. Right, so this is the Exotech Carbon, Carbon, brand new for 2021 from Scorpion. So a few caveats. First of all, this is a pre-production model. So there are a few changes that are going to come to the production model. First of all, most obvious, this is a matte carbon colorway that won't be available next season. It's going to be a gloss carbon like you'd see on the Exo 1400 carbon that everybody loves. Just gives it a sleeker, more polished feel, easier to keep clean, doesn't mark up quite as easily. From our experience, the matte ones tend to mark up a little bit, so we're going for the full gloss one for next season. We've only got a matte one to show you today, but it does give you an idea of what the helmet's going to look like. So why have we made a carbon shell? Pretty simple. It's weight reduction. That's your number one reason. It's 200 grams lighter. That's about 10% lighter than the standard Exotech. And this is a real carbon shell. So when you're buying a carbon helmet, it's worth just checking the weight. A carbon one should be around 10% lighter than a polycarbonate and slightly lighter than a fiberglass as well. It's worth checking the weights because some people just put a carbon film over the top of a standard shell. This is a real carbon shell. So that's the first reason. Second reason, it just looks cooler than a standard one. Everyone loves a bit of carbon on their bike. Everyone loves a carbon look helmet. So it just looks classy and premium. So, so what's some of the features of the helmet? Same as the Exotech in many ways. So let's talk to you about some of those features. You've got direct air vents at the front and at the top and at the front. Easy to use buttons. So if you've got a gloved hand, really easy to use without any problems at all. You're not having little fiddly vents. So you're going to get loads of air flowing and you're not going to get frustrated with it. Staying with the front, as you can see, it's a bull nose chin bar, ultra aggressive look. That's hiding this helmet's main feature. So as you can see, we've got the visor in the down position. If I just unleash the chin bar, run it around the back, the visor comes up automatically, and then you run it back to the front. There's no little gizmos or gadgets to do, you just pull it around the front, it snaps back in place. You can do that with the visor in any position, it will automatically readjust to set when the chin bar comes up. That's really important because we've seen helmets like this before where you have to have a visor in a specific position, you've got a catch on the back to undo it, all those things. All gone with this helmet. This is solving all those issues that you might have seen in some of the other brands in the past. So that's the chin bar. Quick note on that, it is P&J registered, so it is available with an open face or as a full face for full protection. So you can run it in either configuration. If the police stop you, you've got your P&J on it, you can have it all the way around to the back or you can have it all the way to the front. So you can use it in either configuration, perfectly legal. Sticking with the visor area, it will come with a clear visor in the box, not this black visor that is available as an optional extra. The clear visor will have a pin lock as standard, so it's not going to fog up. Most people know what a pin lock is now, but it's a moisture absorbent layer that stops the visor fogging when it gets colder or damper. So that's included in the price of the helmet. Drop down some visor as well, just on the side there. That's the closest point to your clutch hand. What that means is your hand's off the bar for the least amount of time as possible. So it's a safety feature having it down there, not on the top where you've got to reach around to find it. It's also really easy to use. Just hold the edge of your helmet, use your thumb backwards and forwards. Super easy to use. Coming inside the helmet now, as you can see, you've got your chin curtain there to stop any excess wind noise coming up the front and also keep you a little bit warmer. That is removable, of course. If you have a bigger chin, you need to get rid of that to give you a bit more space. That is fully removable. Snap that into the back position. On the inside of the helmet, you've got Quick Wick 2 lining. It's a fully wickable lining that's going to pull the sweat away and get rid of it as quickly as possible. As I said, this is a prototype, that cheap head just popping out a little bit there. You've also got a micro lock strap built into the bottom. As I say, prototype, so the half of the strap isn't on there, so no one can use it because it's not a homologated helmet in this configuration as yet. But it will be varied by 2021. So you've got your quick, quick lining, modular helmet, two position, full pin lock, carbon shell, looks really cool and aggressive, but gives you all the features of an open face or a full face. So that's going to be available 2021. The standard Exotech is currently available. So any more information on this helmet or the standard Exotech, please go to bikeheads.co.uk.